With the 2018 Hogwarts Express only just recently coming off the market, LEGO is already filling the hole left behind with yet another Hogwarts Express. So it begs the question, does this version of the train have something new to offer? Well, let's take a closer look. This set was sent to me early by the LEGO group to review, but you can pick yours up starting on June 1st from LEGO.com. Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Station is set number 76423 and comes in at 1,074 pieces. With an asking price of $130 here in the US, it's going to be the second most expensive Hogwarts Express ever released, which hardly makes it an affordable option if you want to train right now. And let's just take care of this right away, right? There are two versions of the Hogwarts Express currently available. One of them is this big. The other one is this big. I mean, heck, you can almost fit this entire train in the passenger car of the UCS version. If you're looking for a big train, look no further than the Ultimate Collector's Hogwarts Express. If you're looking for something a bit more modest and, dare I say, cute, you might like what LEGO has to offer you here. Before we break down the train any further though, let's take a look at this rather lovely selection of minifigures. So I was surprised to find that with this set of minifigures, our original trio has received a bit of an upgrade. Each of them features new face prints, which is quite delightful. We'll start out with Harry here. You'll notice his lovely happy grin on this side, but his alternate face print actually features his bandaged glasses. And I believe that's a first for the Harry Potter line. It's great. He's holding a printed one by one tile, which is a galleon. Another first and exclusive to this set. Hopefully we get more of those. Maybe with that rumored Gringotts? We'll see. But that's a great addition here. Next up is Ron. He's got this fun, rather disgusted look. It reminds me of the one that appeared in the Polyjuice Potion Mistake set. For items, he's got that lovely bologna sandwich from his mom. Hermione is a great fig. She's got dual molded short legs and the hard plastic dress piece, which is fantastic. She's got a new nervous expression on one side of her face and then a wider smile on the other. Next up is a new version of Lee Jordan, which is fantastic to see. We don't get enough of this character. If I'm not mistaken, the only time he showed up was in the first CMF or the second CMF. So it's great to get him in a regular retail set and a short legged version of him nonetheless. This version of Draco is actually included in two other sets, but it makes sense to have him here rounding out our student body quite nicely. We get a familiar version of Hagrid here too, who's appeared in many sets before, but a great addition to this figure in particular is a printed photo album, the one that he gives Harry at the very touching and memorable end of Sorcerer's Stone. The trolley which appears to be the same one that made its way into the collector's edition of the Hogwarts Express, yes, the big one. However, the train conductor is a brand new minifigure for this set. With so many familiar faces, I'm really happy that we did get some new parts to these figures, new accessories, and new face prints. It's always a good thing to see. This is also the first time a Hogwarts Express set has included the Hogsmeade Station since the motorized 9 volt set in 2004, which is like my dream Harry Potter set. But this version of Hogsmeade Station is much nicer looking than that one. It's vibrant, and I love the colors right off the bat. We get the tans, we get these lovely green tiles, and there's this beautiful nod back to the original 2001 Hogwarts Express with the red lamp piece, which is utterly delightful uh, to see that here. There's also this really nice Hogsmeade sign off to the side. That's all connected down to four straight track pieces and the ramps. Not a lot of track, that's all the track you get in this set, unfortunately, but it is just long enough to hold the train. The interior of the station has some surprises for us too. There's a toilet with glittery water, that's pretty great off to the side, and some Slytherin graffiti. I thought that was pretty funny. The main portion of the building has a chocolate frog, a map that shows the route of the Hogwarts Express, two fireplaces, one of those lovely platform nine and three quarters tickets, a phone, and some other sticker detailing. And then off to the side, there is an owl post section, which is kind of tying into the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, which also features an owl post building. The stickers and details are the same there. There's two additional really small side builds I'll point out too, a sign that points to Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. And then of course we get the trolley. The trolley is noteworthy too, as we get a number of delightful prints there. The classic lollipops, of course, the birdie bots, every flavored bean, which were introduced last year and also a chocolate frog box printed on a one by one rounded tile. And it's worth noting too, that of course you will get both an extra galleon 
and an extra chocolate frog box, as that is LEGO standard for pieces of that size. And that brings us to the train. The train is definitely smaller than any of the other minifigure scale trains we've seen before, and I think that's okay. It's almost like an overreaction to the excessive size of the collector's edition version. But it allows for some more interesting shaping, especially in the engine, and some new parts and new stickers to be added. Thanks to a number of relatively new pieces, there's some just great little details that have been added to this engine especially, and I really like how it turns out. It is adorable. It's followed by the tender. It doesn't do anything, but I'm glad it's included here. That's not always been the case. There's two passenger cars, which I think is the most exciting thing about this train, as it's the first time ever that we're getting two passenger cars. They're easy to get inside thanks to walls and roofs that come out. And you can see that the first car has room for four students and some luggage in the middle. And the second one has room for the trolley and three students and some luggage. The first car is numbered 99721, which must be an Easter egg to something, but I'm not sure what. The second number is 76423, which of course is the number of the set. I gotta look up 99721, see if that's a Lego set. Oh, I think that's the model number of the actual train, because uh, doing a search for 99721 brings up a lot of pictures of the Hogwarts Express. But there you go, there's your bit of useless trivia for the day. I like this set. When all these sets were revealed, this probably was the standout for me. The colors are fantastic, especially when I compare this to the 2004 version, which was gray and sand green. This is such a far cry from that with its bright colors, the tan, the red, and the green accents on the roof. It's delightful. It evokes the warm feelings you get from watching the epilogue of the Sorcerer's Stone. The price is undoubtedly painful. It's kind of a pity that there are two Hogwarts Expresses available on the market, and they just so happen to be two of the most expensive sets from the Harry Potter line. That's gonna leave a beautiful train like this out of reach for a lot of people. Even though I'm not completely convinced it's worth the price of admission, what is here is great. I love the new take on the Express, getting the new printed pieces like the Galleon and the Chocolate Frog Box is fantastic, as well as the updates to some of the classic Harry Potter minifigures. Now I'm curious, out of the three Hogwarts Express trains to come out since the reboot in 2018, what's your favorite? The original 2018 minifigure scale model, the collector's edition massive Hogwarts Express, or this little guy here? Let me know what you think. Personally, I think this one works best for me as a fan of minifigures. There's just a lot of great detail going on. It captures the essence, really, of the Sorcerer's Stone and the magic of Harry Potter, more so than the other two trains, I think. Anyway, that's all I've got for you this time. Have yourself a fantastic life, and I've got some more Harry Potter reviews coming very, very, very soon. So I'll see you then.